What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves another awesome video for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a multi-scale Lugia team alongside with Trick Room Stock Ataka. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for the support that has been going out across the channel. All the subscriptions, all the likes on the videos, and anybody who just tunes in the views. Seriously, thank you guys so much. It really does go a long way. But getting started on this team, we're starting off with Lugia in our top left corner like we normally do. We have multi-scale and weakness policy as our item. Protect, Air Blast, Earth Power, and Blizzard for that moveset. Once this Pokemon gets set up, we're going to be able to dominate battles and roll out really, really strong. Right next to him is another great flying Pokemon, and that is going to be Galarian Moltres. We have Berserk ability and Safety Goggles, as we cannot give it that weakness policy because Lugia already has it. But Safety Goggles works just as well. The moveset on him is fairly normal for a Moltres, and that's going to be Protect, Nasty Plot, Fiery Wrath, and Air Slash. Middle left, we have Raichu. I absolutely love this Pokemon. I feel like it's a great all-around Pokemon. Can come in the back end, or it can just be a nice little lead. We have Fake Out, Volt Switch, Nuzzle, and Grass Knot. He has a Lightning Rod ability to help protect our two of our flying Pokemon, and Assault Vest to soak up some special attacking shots. Whimscott right next to him as a Support Mon and our Tailwind Pokemon, with Protect, Tailwind, Taunt, and Dazzling Gleam. Prankster, obviously, and Cobra Berry for our item. Bottom left corner is going to be our first Ultra Beast, and that's going to be Kartana. With the Beast Boost ability, Focus Sash as his item, Grass and Steel type with Detect so we can actually protect some moves, Leaf Blade, Smart Strike both for Stab, and then our coverage move is going to be Sacred Sword. Final Pokemon is going to be our Trick Room Counter Pokemon or a Pokemon that can just thrive in the Trick Room, and that is going to be Stock Attack. Beast Boost ability, Shuka Berry for his item so we can eat up a ground move, Trick Room as his first move, Gyro Ball for Stab, Rock Slide for Stab, and Body Press as our coverage move. Guys, if you want to try out the scene for yourself, Rental Coat is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get a winning record with this multi-scale Lugia team and Stock Ataka. First battle coming at you guys, going up against a Kyogre team alongside with Lightning Rod, Raichu, Celesteela, Landorus for that Intimidate drop, Grimmsnarl, and Urshifu. Okay, I got this, I got this. I kind of want to lead my Moltres, not my Moltres, my uh, Lugia. I was thinking, I was thinking. But I gotta see. I gotta think about this Kyogre right here. Kyogre can be annoying. I could leave my Raichu. Raichu wouldn't be bad considering we can go into a fake out onto that uh, Kyogre if he leads it turn one. I might go with Raichu and Lugia. Not a bad play. Hmm. Jeans wanna do it. Or I could just set up a Tailwind and roll out from here. Go Whimsicott and Lugia. That's not bad either. I am digging that. I really am digging that. I think we. Could bring Raichu in the back end. Probably Kartana 100% in the back end. I really do like Kartana. Just work on the Grimmsnarl, the Lando, the Kyogre. Yeah, I'm digging that. And then in the final spot, doesn't have Trick Room. So I'm thinking probably Galarian Moltres or Raichu. One or the other. Hmm. I mean, his Lando can't hit me here, which I really like. But then his uh, his Urshfu will absolutely dump on me, which I don't like. It's like, it's like half and half with this one. Um, Let's roll Moltres. Oh, he's got to bring that Urshifu, though. We're still going to bring Moltres. We're still going to rock out and try to get ourselves a win with this one. But, guys, let me know for question of the day, what other games do you guys play besides just Pokemon? Because I know a lot of you guys are Pokemon fans, but I want to know what other games you guys like to hop onto, play, whether it be casual or online competitive. For me, I have, like, two sides. I have two sides of, like, games I play. Nintendo games, I absolutely love. Legend of Zelda. Like, Breath of the Wild was my favorite game. I love Mario games as well. Splatoon series is phenomenal. I basically love any single game that is Nintendo. Like, I play all Nintendo's big series games. I love them all. I really do. And for, like, outside Nintendo, it's gonna be... I've been playing Call of Duty Warzone. I've been having a blast with that game. New update, new season just came out. I play that on my free time. Just to relax and kind of let loose and uh, have some fun with the boys. But let me know in the comment section down below what other games you guys like to play. But this guy gets that Intimidate drop. I'm not even worried about it. Not even worried about it. I'm gonna go for the tailwind here. I set that up, and I might just Dynamax. Hmm. He might drop a rock on me, which, which I don't mind. I might Dynamax and uh, we go for a speed boost or special defense boost. We go for an airstream, get the stab, or I can just drop a rock or not a rock. To drop this hailstorm, which I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to get this super effective damage off on this Lando, and just see what he does from here. He might you turn out and pivot. Let's see. So we're going to Dynamax here. His Intimidate, nothing on us. It's got nothing on us because we're special attacking. But I'm hoping he can proc this policy. I really am hoping that. But I'm thinking this Grimmsnarl is here to set up screens. Which maybe I should taunt it next turn and just see what happens. Let's see. But we definitely want to get off this sandwich. Start trying to take speed advantage. 
Here's our lovely little Tailwind. Or he could be going for a fake out, which I kind of hope he is. Let's see what he does. Go for a fake out. Nope, it's screens. It is screens. I'm going to taunt him next turn. Got to force an attack. Actually, I don't know. I don't know if I want to force an attack because he could have Spirit Break. And Spirit Break could get a little annoying. But there goes the Hailstorm. Hailstorm's going to bring it down to that. Okay. I do have a uh, Dazzling Gleam, and Dazzling Gleam can pick up the KO for us, which is nice. Go ahead, drop a Rock Slide or something. You're going to U-turn out. I kind of said that. I kind of thought he was going to pivot out. And dip. That's totally fine. So he pivots out. He's saving that Intimidate for the back end. And we have... Who do we have in the back end? We have Moltres, who was special attacking. And then we brought... Who was the last one? Who was our last Pokemon? Carton. Okay, so that's physical. And I feel like he can still be fine with a minus one attack drop, considering he has that Stab Grass. And be able to do work up against Kyogre. And here comes Urshifu. So I'm thinking his last Pokemon is going to be that Kyogre. Okay, I'm just going to Gleam here. I think Gleam is going to work wonderful. Gleam is going to, going to rock out here. Even though he does have the light screen up. I think Gleam is going to be the play. Gleam over on that. And then I could just Airstream. I could double up into Urshifu. Because I feel like Urshifu is posing a nice little threat here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. If Dazzling Gleam doesn't pick up the KO, we're going to pick it up with this Airstream. He's going to end up withdrawing you and going into Celestia. What a play. I'll give him props on that. Nice hard swap there. I'll give him that. The so Celestial is going to be his last Pokemon. Gleam's going to pop out here. I'm going to do a little bit of damage over onto Grimstar slot. And he might set up a Reflect here. If it's not, I think he's just going to go straight for a Spirit Break. We're going to go for this Airstream and do minimum damage. So nice swap for this guy. I'll give him props. We do get a crit, which I like, but so not doing a lot of damage. Speed boost coming in here, and I think he's going to drop a Spirit Break. Onto Lugia, right? Yep, Spirit Break comes through. Onto Whimsy. I'm with that all day. I'm with that all day. Okay, so Whimscott gets that special attack drop. And what do I do here? Oh, there's going to be a play. Urshfu might be his Dynamax bomb. I can totally see that happening. We do have decent speed here. Uh, do I see Celesteel at Dynamaxing? That is a possibility. I try to get a Beast Boost rolling for him. Um, I could Quake. Quake isn't a bad play. Hmm. I think we're going to Quake over here. Just get that special defense boost. I don't think we need speed anymore. Or at least these two Pokemon. And I think a Gleam and a Quake... Should we able to take out Grimstar? He hasn't touched me yet. That's the thing. He's been playing this one really slow and really smart. So I give him props. I do give him props. Because he still has four Pokemon. And our Dynamax turns are going to be over after this. He's going to end up Dynamax into Celestial. And probably Airstream and pick it up the KO for the Beast Boost. Okay. Alright, I see you. I am plus one on speed. Maybe I should have went for another plus speed. That could have been a play. I do give this person props. He's buzzing out pretty strong. Here's my Gleam. I'm going to try to get rid of this Grimstar. I think we can. I think we can. I mean, he does have a late screen up, which is bothering me. I hate it. I do want to get rid of this. Get a special defense boost. Get after it. KO. Not even close. That's the only downfall to Lugia here. Is Lugia is really strong, but you need that weakness policy boost. Like, that weakness policy helps him out so much. Because then he's an all-around beast. Here, Brexton, come in here. And we just got... Does not eat. Okay, that's fine. And Lugia is going to be able to eat up whatever this thing has to offer. I think. Right here comes the airstream. Multi scale is going to trigger. It's going to be tasty. Soon. Oh, we oh we don't even have multi scale. We're not at full HP. So that was just how much we eat normally. He's going to get a speed boost. And I'm not too worried about his Dynamax Pokemon here. Because a he didn't get the beast boost. He's not doing a lot of damage. And I outspeed. Uh, I could bring a Moltres. Moltres is in bed. Or I could bring in Cartana. I do dig Cartana. I kind of want to save Cartana for that Focus Hash. I feel like they can clutch up. And right now he doesn't have out. Uh, he doesn't have out Urshfu, so I kind of want to get some value out of my Moltres. So let's throw out the Moltres. Get buzzing from there. Lugi's gonna drop down. Thing is, he can't Max Quake. I know he's probably rocking Max Quake on it. I could plot set up. That's not a bad play. I think I am going to try to plot set up here. I think I'm just going to Aeroblast and take out uh, Grimstar. 
I gotta wait out this late screen, man. But it's probably the late screen's probably here for like the rest of the game, so. This is what I think is gonna happen. I think Lugia's gonna outspeed, take out Grimstone on first turn, and then Celestial is gonna come after my Lugia. That is honestly what I think is gonna happen. And then if he can pull out the Urshfu next turn, then we can pose a big threat with two flying Pokemon. That could be pretty nice. The thing is, Urshfu hits through Protect, so I was thinking of protecting, but I, I can't. I simply cannot. Here's my Arrow Blast. Bang. Okay, so you're gone. Grimstone is gone. I'm cool with that turn. And Nasty Plot is setting up. And we know we outspeed the Celestial, which is huge. Unless he uh, air streams here. Which I hope he does. Let's see what he does. He does go for an air stream. Okay, so we're probably not going to be able to outspeed it. It's a little tough. And he does go after Moltres. Alright, I'm trying to think. We should be fine if he throws out Earth Spoon, unless he protects. Let's see who he throws out here. That when Peter's out, man, dude, some speed is totally on his side. He is totally on his side, yo. Look at look at our Pokemon though. We look so sick. Just two giant legendary birds just flapping through the air. My side looks so sick. He's gonna throw out Earth Spoon, right? Yes. Earth Spoon comes in hot. He doesn't have his focus ash. And I think I double up into it. I think I double up into it. I don't see him protecting. I see him going for a wicked blow onto my uh, Moltres, taking him out. And if I can take out this uh, this Urshfu here, I feel like we could be decently well with Kartana in the back end. But I think he's going to hit Lugia. I think Lugia is going to be able to easy eats with that Celestial shot. And I feel like a wicked blow is going to come through onto my Moltres and take him out. But that's all just speculation. That's all just what your boy is thinking right now. But not gonna lie, it's a good battle. It's a long drawn out, nice master ball tier battle. The tech. <sighs> this game. We gotta eat. We gotta eat. You guys gotta eat. I need you guys to survive in one of this. Eshin's gonna come out here. I think we should be fine here. Yes. So we're fine. We're eating here. Speed is through the roof. His Dynamax turns are over. We eat just fine. Air Slash and Arrow Blast is getting protected. But again, I gotta double up in that slot again. I have to. Like, I have to get rid of this Pokemon. I am plot set up, which is lovely. Um, Lugia is faster, so I am going to double up here. Or do I just go for a Fiery Wrath? No. We gotta we got double up here, just in case. Just in case, because Ur Urshfu's posing that huge threat on me. I don't like. I think it's like I want to protect, but there's just no point with Urshfu on the field. He hits through him, and it's not it's not worth the risk to just call out. Oh, Celestial is going here, and Urshfu is going here. Considering my callouts haven't been too too good, they're all just speculation right now. Hmm. He's definitely trying to wicked blow onto my Moltres. He could potentially swap. I don't think he has Ally Switch. I don't think yeah, I don't think Celestial runs that. Let's see what happens. Wide guard comes through. That's fine by me. We're not rocking out with Fiery Wrath. We're doubling up into you. Lugia out speed, yo. I love you, Lugia. I love you. And we don't get the KO. Ooh. Don't like that one bit. Close combat comes through. That's going to KO us. But it's good to know Lugia out speeds. It's really nice to know that Lugia out speeds. And what is a. Uh... Let me see Lugia's speed. Okay, it's 171. I was going to say, can Kartana outspeed? But I don't think Kartana's going to be able to outspeed. Because I would have loved Kartana to get this hit off so we can get a beast boost. And then we can get the uh, uh, Intimidate drop to come through. Ooh, but I can Sacred Sword. The play's going to be not very effective. Smart Strike's going to be not very effective. I think I Sacred Sword over onto... He might detect. But I'm actually just going to do that. I might blizzard. I'm gonna go for a blizzard. I don't see a single wide garden. I'm gonna go for a blizzard here. And hope that it connects with the Earth food. Gotta hope. Gotta hope here. But this is either a big play or a dumb play. Let me know in the comment section down below before it even happens. Big play or dumb play. And he's thinking hard. He might detect again. This is why I went for the blizzard. Just in case he detects, I can double through and get some shots on the Celestia. Sucker Punch is gonna come through here. Oh my lord, he sucker punches. That's gonna be GG's. 
That is gonna be GG's. Wait a minute. Life Orb drops him. Hold up. Match ain't over yet. Take a short come through here. He still has Intimidate drop, which I'm not liking. Not bad damage coming out there. Now Flash Cannons can come, come through here, which we eat up. Oh my god, we don't eat up. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, we're such like a piece of paper, man. <laughs> we are such a lightweight. Lando's gonna come out here. Oh, dude, look how close this battle was. Um, who do I take out? Who do I take out? I know. Or faster. Or faster. Oh my god, dude. If we had a double hitting move. So we're obviously not eating up a flash cannon. So I might as well take out the Celestia. And hope maybe Lando misses. I think that's a play. And hope that the Lando misses. We might not be able to outspeed the Lando. We do. But we're going to take out Celestia. Need to get rid of that. Because we know we're, we're not eating up a flash cannon. And Lando's going to come in here. Miss. Miss Lando. I'm using my one miss. Everybody gets one. I'm going to use mine now. I'm going to use mine now. Goes for an EQ. Nah, it's GG's. EQ don't miss. Eat up. Eat up. No. We don't eat up at all. But yeah, really close battle. All around, we rocked out. Our opponent rocked out. We ended up losing. But we can hop to our second and look for our first win. Hopping into our second battle, going up against a Regiram team alongside with Grimmsnarl, Suicune, Kartana, Landorus, and Galarian Moltres. Galarian Moltres probably rocking out his weakness policy, if I had to guess. Kind of got to watch out for that uh, Grimmsnarl, not liking that one bit. I think I'm going to lead Raichu this battle. So we say no Tailwinds, we're not going to go after it, and I might lead the Kartana. Kartana could be decent. But at the same time, I'm not liking that, uh, that Kartana coming in here. Considering if he leads Lando, he can just do some work on me. But I could fake it out at that point. I do like Cartana. I do. I am digging Cartana. I'm gonna, I am going to lead Cartana. And I think I'm going to bring in uh, Moltres and Lugia? Or did I bring Sakatak? I could potentially roll Trick Room here. And Dynamax him. He is pretty good. He can do decent work here. Maybe we should give that a try. Nah, we're just going to go with Double Birds, Kartana, and Raichu, and roll from there. Maybe next battle we'll roll out with Trick Room Sakataka, but that first battle was this close. It was legit this close that uh, Landorus legit was on one hit. It came down to whoever whoever outsped and hit first. That, that's all it came down to. Was that. We just need to eat. Actually, no. It came down to uh, we need to hit the miss because it was 2v1. I KO'd as a Celestial. Both of them were on like 1 HP. They were all down the red. It ended up not working in our favor. We go Kartana and Raichu, which I'm liking this lead. I'm digging it. Because I can fake out that Grimmsnarl. I could go for a Smart Strike here as well. Or I could go for a Leaf lead. But I am definitely going to fake out on the Grimmsnarl. Don't want anything popping off here. I think I just dropped a Smart Strike. And we get buzzing from there. We might swap into the Lando. I could see that happening. I, I am really liking this lead. That's Water and Fairy. But I, my Kartana is beasting out here. If I pick up a KO, I might Dynamax here. We'll see. Let's see what happens here. Fake out gets the claps going. And can Smart Strike actually pick up KO? It might. Let's see what happens here. Smart Strike comes through. Big KO, baby. Big KO there. We knock that thing down. We get an attack boost from our Beast Boost ability. And we're going to be able to start rolling out here. I don't think Kartana or not Kartana. So we can really stand a chance. He is going to Tailwind. He is going to Tailwind. So in that case, I might nuzzle him and just take him out with Kartana. It really depends who he brings up here. Because I'm going to start nuzzling around here. He's going to Tailwind. I'm, I'm totally starting to nuzzle. Uh, let's nuzzle up on that Regiram. Let's nuzzle up on Regiram. Nuzzle him. Leaf Blade over onto you. I am digging this play. So that's my plan. If I'm not Tailwinding, I'm going to throw some nuzzles out here. Just start pestering these guys. Slowing them down with uh, Paralyzes. That's 100% the play. Suicune could be his Sashmon. I can't see that happening. Hopefully it's not. But he's going to end up Dynamax in the rush room. Smart play. I still have Lugia in the back. And I have Glarian Moltres. So I think we could be fine here. And he's probably going to try to target my Kartana. And we are sashed up. He's probably going to throw a Max Flare. Which I'm totally fine with. I think he's going to throw a Flare. And he's going to hit it on my Raichu. Giving us another turn with the Kartana. But we'll see what happens here. going to go for a Quake actually. Okay. And Raichu eat. 
How'd you eat this up? No, we do not. So no nuzzle. I thought Raichu could at least outspeed him. But, you know, he's down one. Special defense is getting boosted. Um, hmm. What's the play here? What's the play here? Bertana should be able to get off a nice little shot here. Strong's gonna come through here. We dodge it. So we keep our sash. That's actually huge. And is this thing sashed up? It is not. Ooh, baby. Oh, baby. Yo, do I Dynamax Cartana? Do I Dynamax Cartana? He's posing that big threat right now. Plus two. Could go for a special defense boost. He's not policy. What move did he just use? He used Quake. But I'm trying to think. Is this thing physical or special? I think I'm going to Dynamax him and just start getting some special defense boost. I think it's going to be play. He's going to send out Cartana of his own. Of his own. All right. I'm going to Dynamax Lugia. We are multi-scaled right now. I'm digging it. Let's just drop a nice big quake. It could Sacred Sword onto Cartana. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm Sash. He might not be Sash. Some Cartanas are Sash. Some are not. Some of them will rock a berry. Some of them will have a choice ban on them. Choice ban Cartanas are... They're filthy. They hit so hard, man. They hit so hard. It is ridiculous. But I'm posing two big threats. And I don't see him picking up a KO on either of them. Because one, I'm multi-scaled. And the other one's Focus Sash. So... I'm looking good. I'm feeling this one. I mean... You guys know battles can go either way. Especially when I say I'm feeling good. Maybe we have this one. I knock on wood. That's me knocking on wood. <laughs> you guys know when I when I usually say that, something happens. Wait, Sacred Sword's up on me. I eat. I eat up all day. He's going to be able to go for a max quake. And he's going to double through on me. Dang it. He double throughs on me, man. It's a special defense boost for both these guys. And I'm wondering if Rush Ram is still attacking. That's my real question. I do not know. I really don't know. I wish I knew his moveset. As Quake comes through, we're going to get a special defense boost of our own. And we're not going to be able to do that much damage here. Lugia, Lugia, Lugia. I love this Pokemon, but it gets mauled on. I mean, like, it doesn't do any damage besides when its policy is propped. Moltres coming out here. Hmm. Alright. Uh. Let's start taking speed. I'm trying to get rid of this Cartana. The Fiery Wrath. Fiery Wrath could be play. Now I'm going to double up with hard hitting moves into Cartana. I want him gone. I want him out of here. Even though he's like a glass cannon. I want him out of here. Smart Strike can come through here. And it's going to take off our scale. And he's going to drop a flare. Okay, so he's flaring up. And there goes his Dynamax turns. Moltres should be fine here. Yep, Moltres is chilling. I'm going for an Airstream, so I am starting to uh, boost my speed up again. Berserk is popping as well. Ooh, baby. We got Berserk. Berserk is popping. All right. Airstream coming in hot. Doing some nice damage. And I think this uh, Berserk Air Slash should be able to take this thing out. And I'm thinking Lugia should be fastest on the field now. But if we're fast on the field, I can't airstream again. Boosting my speed for my Moltres, so we should be thriving here. This should KO, right? Dang it, man. Get him out of here, yo. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? All right, we're airstreaming again. Uh, even though his tailwind's out, I want to secure that outspeeding. Are you kidding me? Look at that Cartana sitting on one. I don't like it one bit. Here goes my airstream. Lovely. We should be thriving on the speed board now. Reshiram should take a little bit of damage here. Moltres should outspeed. And Moltres should be able to pick up the KO onto the Kartana. No problem. Oh, and do some damage. I forgot to use Fiery Wrath instead of Air Slash. And do some damage over on the Reshiram. All right, yo, I'm digging it. Now, what is Reshiram going after? He's going after my Moltres probably. Nope, he's going after Lugia, which works out perfectly for me. That should be easy win. It comes down to 2v1. We have speed advantage. We're thriving here, and we're going to go one-on-one -on -one for you guys in battle number two. Yes, sir. Kartana clutching up. It was just a Kartana lead, and I was thinking about not leading Kartana, but I had a feeling. I had a feeling Kartana was going to be able to roll out strong and get some work done. As he came out there, it was perfect. It was Grimstraw and Suicune. Two Pokemon I could just one-tap get a beast boost from. 
hit both of those, rolled out strong, got ourselves that win. Sitting at 1-1, one one, looking for that winning record in our third and final battle, going up against a Latias team with Gudra, Metagross, Togekiss, Alcreme, and Snorlax. Gotta watch out for that Belly Drum if he does have it on him. I don't know if he does. I really do not know that. But he has no restricted mod, which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Season 9 is right around the corner, so he might be setting up a team for Season 9, considering restricted mods are gone. Um, how do I want to play this one? I kind of want to roll Trick Room. I feel like Stock Attack is not bad here at all. But at the same time, I, I, I could go Lugia and the Moltres and stuff. I don't want to leave that Raichu. Let's have Alcreme. Alcreme and the Gudra combo. That is a little scary. Let's go Whims. I'm going to go Whims here. Because Whimsy is Whimsy and he's dope. Um, I could go... Who do I want to lead? I'm going with my boy. Let's get Moltres. Let's get Moltres rocking out here. But you know what? Let's get these two rocking and then I think we go with the birds. Go with the birds. I'm digging the birds. I am liking the birds a lot. Let's get the birds rolling out here. I am liking them. Actually, what am I doing? I should have brought Cartana. What am I doing? I should have brought Cartana. I think we'll be fine without him. But yeah, Cartana. I, I always realize stuff like last second after I hit like the finish button. Like, we had Cartana. He has outcremated tokens. We could have just dumped on him and rolled from there. He's probably going to lead one of them, right? Right? Leads them both. Leads them both. Cartana should have came out here. Um, I can pass him around here. I am probably going to taunt up on that outcremate. Unless we think he's going to be G-Max outcremate. I still think we give a little taunt action. Let me fake out onto the Tokus. So I'm liking this play. Dex can come out from Alcreme. Alright, so we're going to be able to fake out. I can taunt next turn. Alright, double protect. I wonder what he was going for here. I was wondering. I, 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 that's fine. That kind of gives me... That kind of gives me options now. Because now I know he can't protect. And I think I'm just going to go in with Taunt here. And I think I'm just going to Nuzzle. Over onto Token Kiss. If this thing's policy, so God help me. Because I hate proc policies with a Nuzzle. It's like a waste of a move. Because usually if you're going to proc that policy, you better make that shot last. You know? You're going to hit that thing hard. You're going to try to do as much damage on it. So if I hit him with this Nuzzle, and he does like this much HP, maybe a little bit less than that. And I give him a policy proc. Oh, we're in some trouble. We're going to be in some trouble. But he uh, he can be like Tokikiss is so versatile. It really is. Hong comes out. I want to say, hey, you can't set up. We're not letting you set up. And that's going to come out here. Hopefully, no weakness policy. There's the para all day. No weakness policy. I love it. I love it. We are assault vested. So Rashi's going to be able to eat up. I am going to be able to get off another pester here. I'm going to be able to tailwind as well. Do I volt switch out? I might volt switch out next turn. I, I want to get off another nuzzle. I'll paralyze as many Pokemon as I can. Because that's just more chances that he'll be paralyzed for a turn. Which is huge. So if I can do this, I would love to get a swap out into one of my birds. Dynamax from there. And maybe Volt Switch out and have Raichu as a back end Pokemon for another fake out later in the game. There's a lovely little Tailwind, so we're just taking speed advantage to the fullest potential. Nuzzle can come out here. Bounce, bounce, bounce. I love the animation for you. He's just like, doop, doop, doop. <laughs> it's just like paralyze on you. Thing comes out. Whimsy's dead. Raichu should be fine here. Let's see what Togi's paralyzed. Nope. Togi gets his hit off. That actually might KO me. Nope. Raichu lives another turn. Um, okay. We'll get out Lugia. I said we get out Lugia, but we don't Dynamax him. I think that's a fair little play here. I really don't want to Volt Switch, to be honest with you guys. Unless I do. Maybe I want to. I think we just Arrow Bust. I think we double up into Togi. I think we double up into Togi. You guys are paralyzed. Like, I'm waiting for, for a turn to go off here. I just want to Volt Switch just to be able to have that fake out in the back end for later game. And I can Nuzzle again. So let's run it. Right, you get in the back. We do have Tailwind set up. Is he Dynamaxing? Nope. I thought he was because like the animation was taking a little bit longer. 
Here goes my bolt switch. We out of here. We are out of here. And I'm hoping this arrow blast can pick up the KO. Maybe land a crit here. We do have our goggles on. So we're very extra safe right now. Lugia might have to be our Dynamax Mon. Arrow Blast comes out. Let's see. Pick it out. Uh, dude, he's never picking up the KO. He never does. Uh, maybe we can uh, proc Berserk, which could be nice. Nothing that comes out here. Yeah, we're going to Dynamax Lugia after this turn. E! E! And like that one bit. Double crit. This thing's scoped up. Berserk is popping. Alright. He shakes off Taunt. That's fine. Um. Do I have Dynamax and Airstream? Special defense boost? Let me see your Pokemon. We have Dynamax Lugia right here. Hmm. Gotta have Metagross in the back, right? I don't think we need speed. But I'd rather do as much damage as I can over onto this, uh, you right there. Fiery Wrath. I really want to Fiery Wrath. I think I'm still going to Fiery Wrath even though we're Berserked. Or even though it's not very effective. It's just a tough battle. I feel like I waited too long with the Dynamax. And we should have brought Cartana. We should have brought the Cartana, man. It would have been play. But we're not going to give up without fight. You guys already know that. Dang, if we would have led Cartana, Smart Strikes out the wild suit coming at these guys. We would have been able to roll out here. I feel like I should have Dynamax uh, last turn. If I would have Dynamax last turn, we would have been able to take out Tokus. It would have been thriving. So there's that. We're going to be able to pick up the KO on Tokus, but... What the what's he called? The, our Moltres is going to go down. And he still has Dynamax. Tough news. I haven't been able to practice policy a lot today. We do pick up the KO on Tokus. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. And I'm hoping this Dazzle Gleam misses. Oh. Oh, the para comes out. The para comes out, finally. Finally, the para comes out here. Love it. Power's coming out hot. All right. Another Fiery Wrath should be able to take that out. I think I'm just going to drop Fiery Wrath and get a Dynamax shot off on uh, that other Pokemon. It's probably going to be either Gudra or Metagross. I think a Metagross can come flying out here, and that's going to be pretty much GG's because Metagross is phenomenal. Is it going to be Meta? Is it going to be Gross? It's going to be Goo. It's going to be Goos. And I'm not afraid to drop Hailstorm onto you. I don't think I'm afraid to do that. It could be policy as well. There's my Fiery Wrath. Just pick up that KO onto that, uh... That out Krimi. We do have Fake Out still. What I need him to do is proc my policy, but... Tough news. Tough news. Maybe I should have been trying to proc it myself with, like, Volt Switch or something? Hmm, I don't know. That kind of like defeats my purpose because then, then I swap out my Pokemon. She's like, ah, uh, I don't know. Let's see. It's definitely Dynamax Gudra. Yeah, here it comes. Gudra getting big. I love Gudra. I think Gudra is such a cool Pokemon. All around. I think it's really dope. I knew this one was going to be tough once I didn't bring that Kartana. Like, once I hit none, I was like, dude, I should have brought Kartana. I knew this one was going to be tough. And of course, he leads both Pokemon that I would have loved to have Kartana out against. But we do outspeed all day. Here goes our Hailstorm. It's probably policied and he eats up like a tank. Look how much damage this is not going to do. Like, it's crazy. It is crazy. It's just insane how little damage Lugia does without a weakness policy. I've been trying to proc all day. Here goes my Fiery Wrath. We do take out you. And hopefully, I don't think he's going to go after my Moltres. The Hailstorm is just going to take us out. Not tough. He's going to go Hailstorm of his own. We do outspeed and that's going to policy proc, which we should be able to eat, right? Alright. I do have Raichu. But the thing is here, our problem is going to be that Moltres is going to go down to Buffets. Wait, Moltres doesn't take Buffets? Oh, we have Goggles. We are Goggles. I was wondering. I was like, wait a minute. Okay, we are Goggled, which I like a lot. Shinolax coming in, power hand up. Um, I think I have to do more damage onto you. I think we have to get after that. Do I Fiery Wrath or Air Slash? I think I Air Slash here. Maybe try to get a flinch? It's going to be play. My guard here. But yo, I was, I was wondering. I was like, oh, Moltres goes down here. We have goggles, man. I love the goggles. Goggles are rocking out. Here goes another Hailstorm. Trying to do as much damage. We are plus two. This still isn't going to take out. Still gonna, but it's going to do a little bit more damage. Like, dude, 
Dude's just a tank. We're policy proc too. Air slash coming out here. Can we get the flinch? That's what I'm basically looking for here. I'm gonna flinch on the Snorlax. Else you gonna come out here? Uh, do we eat up this one? Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. We do, but Buffett's are going to take us out. Tough news. He does flinch. Luigi's gonna go down here. And it comes down to my two Pokemon with no HP. <laughs> and he has one Dynamax turn. And dude, Buffett's doing us dirty, man. I think I KO'd my Lugia twice today with Buffett, right? Was it twice? That's so tough. I think it is twice. Look at my Pokemon. Three and nine. It's absurd, man. I don't like it. All right, our one shot here. This is our one shot. Our one shot is to nuzzle on this thing. Get a para. And we have to get another flinch. And we have to get another flinch on the Snorlax. That, that, that's our only way out. We need a para and a flinch. So we need we need some luck here. We need some luck. Nuzzle. Bang. Give me the paralyze. Show it to me. Show it to me. And we need to flinch over here from this fiery wrath. Show it to me. That's GG. That's he's gonna ooze me and Buffett's gonna take me out. Unless he goes ahead and you. Nope. That is game. That's a game set match. Watch, we're probably gonna get the flinch too. I just need the para. Because if I would've got that para and the flinch, Moltres would've been able to KO with a double fiery wrath. Let's see what happens here. He doesn't he didn't even flinch. He didn't even flinch. Darkest Slayer comes out here. And we end up going one and two for today's video. Two losses. One victory. We had an awesome second battle where we dominated. Ended up getting that win. And our two losses were very, very close battles that we ended up just losing by a hair at the end. Fun team we used today. Went 1 and 2 on the ranked up ladder in Master Ball tier. The only problem I have with this team is just Lugia as a Pokemon overall. I feel like it's a very underwhelming Pokemon, but it's a very cool one. Like, he doesn't do a lot of damage, as you guys can tell. He can eat up some shots, but you really need that weakness policy boost to get his fullest potential out of him. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. If you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.